For this activity, we need a white sheet and sheets of three different colors. For this activity, we need a white sheet and sheets of three different colors and one scale, some colorful pens, compass with pencil and a glue. These are the things required for doing this activity. Take your compass and pencil and draw circles on these three sheets of different radius. On this yellow sheet, I am going to draw a circle of radius 2.5 cm. Now take a measurement of 2.5 cm on your compass. Draw a circle on this sheet. Take a measurement of 3 cm on your compass and draw circle on this sheet. Finally, on this red sheet, I will draw a circle of radius 4 cm. So, take a measurement of 4 cm on your compass. And now draw circle on this sheet. Now you can see I have drawn three circles of different radius. I have drawn the radius and written the measurement of radius. Now I am going to cut these circles using scissor. These are the cutouts of the circles. I have also prepared a observation sheet where I will write the observation of this activity. Now I am going to use this sheet where I have pasted this thread for the activity. Let us mark it as P, the end of this thread. One end is P and other end as I am taking this yellow circle and I will keep this circle like this. The end of this radius I will put at point P at the end of this thread. Now I will start revolving this circle along its circumference. The circular part of this circle is the circumference of this circle. So I will start revolving it. We have to stop here where we complete one round of this circle. Now mark this point and take a measurement using scale. I am taking this big scale to take measurement of this line segment. It is approximately 15 point 7 okay which I am going to write in my observation sheet this is the observation sheet this yellow sheet I am writing here this is circle A and this is 15.7 centimeter now I have to write the diameter of this circle since the radius is 2.5 if I will multiply this with 2 I will get 5 centimeter. Similarly I will take observation of circumference and diameter of other two circles then we will do this calculation. Now I will repeat the same activity with this green circle. Put the end of the radius at point P means the end of this thread and start revolving the circle.
Now take measurement of this point from P using scale. Take measurement. The measurement I am getting is about 18.8 or 9. Okay, so I will write here 18.9. In my observation sheet, I will write the measurement for the circumference of circle B. This is circle B. So right here it is 18.9 centimeter. And we have to calculate the diameter also. If the radius is 3 cm, so I will multiply it by 2 and it is 6 cm. Now take this red circle and repeat the activity and revolve it along its circumference. The measurement of this length is about 25.3 cm. Okay. It is about 25.3 centimeters. This red circle is third circle. So I will write the name C. Now it is 25.3 centimeters. Now for diameter I will double the radius. The radius of this circle is 4 centimeter. 4 multiplied by 2 is equal to 8 centimeters. Now to find the value of pi, I am going to divide the circumference with diameter in all these three cases. So the circumference is here 15.7 divided by 5. On dividing this, how much will get? Let us calculate here. 15.7 divided by 5. If you will see this observation sheet, you will find that the value of pi is nearly equal to 3.14. These values are not the exact values. These are the approximate values. This can vary if you will do the experiment because when we are rotating the circle along its circumference, may the length will vary. So, the conclusion of this experiment is the value of pi is approximately 3.14.